Hi, I'm Kip Kuterbaugh. I'd like to introduce you to my sons. I'm Jason. And I'm Jane. Welcome to the Aviar Golf Academy. Here it is. Everyone, and today I'm going to build on an article that my dad wrote in 1993 called the that Power V. Now, the Power V talked about a separation between the hips and the spine. That if I was to draw a line straight up from my left leg and up my spine, you would create a V. Now, this Power V is very beneficial for a lot of amateur golfers who slide and create no V. But as people try to get over their slide and tilt, they sometimes can overdo it and then they create a V that has no curvature of the spine. So you went from a slide tilt with a ton of arch in your back, which is not where you want to be, to a turn or more of a twist with a spine that's actually kind of in flexion. So flexion would be, if you're standing from the side, my, eye, my spine would just kind of bend over like I'm touching my toes. So just to clarify what you want, I like to call it a power bow. So if I make a turn to the top of my backswing, you can still draw that left line straight up my left leg. But if you draw a line along my spine, it's gonna look more like a bow, the type of bow and arrow that you would shoot this way. So as we're starting our backswing, we want to make sure we turn into a position where we get behind the golf ball. So you're still going to be behind that line with your shoulder, but you also have a little bit of extension in your spine. And that allows you to start down with your body rather than if you're just over here, the only way to really start is either the push forward and slide or you're just gonna kind of start with your arms. Okay, so you wanna go to the top, create a little bit of spine extension, and create that power bow, and then release the bow, and allow the spine to start in flexion, and then turn through.